this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Skylander Strap Team. Let's play! I am currently on my way to the Wilkin Factory, and I am playing as Treadhead. But I will not remain playing as Treadhead, because I've already played as Treadhead uh, for a whole 20 minutes in the last episode. Instead, I am going to immediately switch over to... Hawk and Or! Jetvac Full Blast. And right, there was a, a jet vac I had before, which is one of the, the light up ones. Uh, this is a different one. This is one which I believe can eventually get two guns. Well, the model has him holding two guns. So I reckon uh, later on we're going to be able to, to upgrade him uh, so he has double the, the firepower. So uh, first let's go and jump across here and uh, try and grab some of these monies uh, so we can upgrade them at all. And uh, let's go and try and head ourselves into the, the factory. So uh, if you want to know what's going on, basically I have teamed up with Chaos. He's actually going with me. In fact, you can see him in the background right now, standing around like a lemon waiting for me <laughs> as I'm here talking to you. And uh, yeah, we're going inside of an old factory, uh, which is where he used to make uh, these wooden robots that used to be his let's friends. Let's be in this instant! Yep, and, and he wants to get in, as you can see. Yeah, the place he made these uh, wooden robots used to be his friends. Uh, but now this whole place has been... Oop, <laughs> you're right down there, fella. You trying to... Are you trying to get to me, are you? Oh, yes, he is. And he has actually got up to me now. Right, let's uh, let back, back off a little bit then because <laughs> Jetvac is still only level one. So uh, I'm in no position to tease these uh, people. Uh, so yeah, basically the uh, the Doom Raiders and uh, specific Dr. Crankcase uh, has taken over the factory and uh, he's trying to use it to lure Chaos here. And I guess that has worked because Chaos has come here uh, because they want Chaos uh, to allow them to travel through time because they want to go to the future because they want to better Bury a piece of cheese and then come back in about 10,000 years when the cheese is going to be really smelly and then they're going to use that to power their evil machine. Just go along with it. Don't question the story. Just just, just keep going along with it and um, yeah, you should be able to, to enjoy it. <laughs> oh, I love this game storyline. It's so funny. Anyway, uh, this is one of the other uh, robots that I was talking about. Uh, let's, uh, before talking to him, go and destroy some of his furniture. He doesn't seem to mind. And uh, then let's say hello. Ooh, a new quest. Hi there. I have been trying to sleep for a long time, but not able to do it. No sleep is no fun. Maybe Dreamcatcher come and make me fall asleep? Could be special fun. Ah, see, I would. I do have Dreamcatcher, uh, but I don't actually have her at hand. I think I switched her out. Let me just double check, but I'm pretty sure I switched her out for another villain. And so the only way I'd be able to get her here is if I went all the way back to the um, uh, to the other place and then came back. She is magic, isn't she? Or is she? No, she's air, actually. I think she's uh, an air one. So if I switch over to the air, please be in here, Dreamcatcher. Please be in here. Please be in here. Nope, I have Frankenstein <laughs> is uh, inside this air one. Uh, okay, no worries then. I guess uh, I'm not going to be able to, to do this mission. Uh, so let's go and uh, instead uh, go and uh, switch back over to Scrap Shooter, uh, who I upgraded in the the last episode, and I'm not really uh, played as him properly yet, see? To sleep for a long time, I, I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry, but I'm not actually able to, to help you, so uh, let's instead uh, carry on with our mission, go and speak to Chaos, and uh, work out how we're going to get inside, and oh, uh, there seems to be another little house in here we can visit in, and whoa, my favourite, lots of things to destroy! <laughs> oh, look at the wall collapsing, lots of things to destroy, and oh, look behind, there's a one of the, the soul gems behind there, see? Destruction pays off. You see, people say, oh, don't don't destroy things, don't break things. See, I destroyed everything and it paid off brilliantly for me. <laughs> yeah, just don't carry across that mentality into real life. That only works in games like Skylanders. Uh, so there we go. I got the uh, the wing sapphire. So, yeah, sorry, not the, the soul gem. And uh, so that's going to give me a, a discount on all of my future things uh, that I purchased from the, the shops. And it looks like I can also have another game of a Sky Stone Smash. Your horror, Skylander. I have a proposition for ye, and I'll get right to the point. Let's play Sky Stone Smash. I will accept your proposition. Your har har. But in the further interest of being straightforward, I must tell ye that ye will surely lose. Well, we will see about that. We will see about that. I am feeling rather confident that is a pretty powerful selection of Skystone Smash cards. So, uh, well, 
sky stone smash stones, I guess, <laughs> as they are in this game. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to explain the rules again because I've explained them a million times. I'm just going to assume that you know them, and if not, uh, it's very easy to pick up anyway. So uh, if I put down uh, this guy, uh, he should uh, almost immediately uh, be able to take up there. I think that's is that Bruiser Cruiser, maybe? There we go. So I've already got a good advantage. I, I am already ahead. And so they uh, are going to fight each other. And I'm actually going to lose that fight. But what I can do uh, is put down one of these cards, uh, which is going to do some instant damage to him. And if I actually put down the, uh, Dream, the Dream Eater, Catcher. Uh, Dream Dreamcatcher, sorry, uh, she is going to be able to, to hurt the actual person uh, and then uh, do damage uh, against uh, him again as well. So uh, this way I'm going to take down his health big time. So I got him down from it. I think he was on 13 health. And now he is already down to eight. So uh, that Hoodsicle. seemed to be a jolly good start for me. But sadly, uh, Hoodsicle is now going to take her out. But she will take him out as well. And oh, actually what I could do, if I put down uh, my... Um uh, what's this guy's name? Uh, Pepper Jack. He will actually yeah, be able to, to take out both Fireball. of them. Uh, his fireball move uh, attacks all of their all of their stones, so they should actually uh, take out all of their characters. Look at that. That was, oh no, it didn't take him out, but it got his health right down. Uh, and there we go, I was able to do some more damage against him. Uh, but sadly, uh, there goes uh, both of them. This is still good though. I have still Roll hurt him way more than he's hurt me. Well, he's not hurt me at all yet. And I can put down this card and just do some straight up damage. So uh, if I go down and put in uh, Hoodsicle, uh, I'm going to go and do another four uh, damage points on him, uh, bringing him down to only two health, which means the next round I should almost Roll definitely win. And oh, there's a train going in the background. I thought we were inside. <laughs> Where did that train come from? Uh, so yeah, I might as well put this guy down here. They're going to take out each other. Then Hoodsicle is going to take him out. And then I'm going to win. And then I'm going to jump around and celebrate and go whoop, whoop, whoop once I've finished talking to him. Are you ready for this? I defeated Yar Har. I got myself Perhaps lots of money. Perhaps not be what they used to be. But give me another chance. And I'm sure to get me mojo back. Success is whoop, mine. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> I told you I was going to do it. I told you I was going to jump around and go whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> oh, there we go. I love that game. I really enjoy playing that game. Anyway, it looks like we have finally arrived at the, the workshop. And uh, there we go. I was just about able to, to get up. It's much worse than I thought. I know. What, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, no. I'm dreading what's going to be inside here. I'm sure I can deal with it. I am a powerful Skylander after all. First, that idiot crate case has removed all my demotivational plaques. Second, today is supposed to be Evil Donut Day. Do you see any evil donuts around here? I don't. And then there's this. <gasps> I ask you, <laughs> what <laughs> have I ever done to deserve this? On second thought, don't answer that. <sighs> oh, you go ahead. I need a moment. I'll come find you once I conquer my furious rage. Well, personally, Chaos, I believe that pretty little bow is actually an improvement. I think it suits you. I think because of the balding issue, this is a nice way to get around the lack of hair. And overall, I think having a little bow on your head makes you look much prettier. Um, I don't know if pretty is the look he's going for, to be honest, but I like it. I like it. <laughs> he's furious because someone's put out a fruit basket rather than some evil donuts. That's the thing that upset him so much. <laughs> uh, anyway, it looks like we've made our way into the factory and it uh, looks like a lot of googlies made their way into the factory as well. And I think I'm, what I want to do is I want to try and stay back as far as I can and uh, just shoot them at range. I think that's where I'm going to have my advantage. But when they're spinning like that, I can't actually do any damage against them. All right, I can suck them in though. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. If I suck them close, I just do the opposite of what I wanted to do. I just get them close to me. <laughs> I do damage them, but these guys are pretty tough. So let me try and dodge around them. Nope, that didn't work. Oh no, I've taken them to the, the conveyor belt. Well, actually, I don't think they can actually really go along this conveyor belt. If I stay here, I can just stay here shooting at them and then jumping back out of the way. And then I should be able to pretty easily take them all out. Only one guy left. Right, I'm going to use my sucky move on him. That should be able to finish him off. Nope, it wasn't. It wasn't. And he hurt me big time. But luckily, uh, I leveled up, and uh, that brings my health fully back up. I think that this um this new jetpack, who's supposed to be uh, even more powerful, is actually um it's actually a little bit weak to be honest. He doesn't seem to be doing <laughs> that much damage against them. And oh look, I have found myself a villain stash. So let me switch over to scrap shooter, see, and let me go and mash, 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 mash the potatoes, see. You see, I must open the chest to get all the jewels inside, see. And now I can collect these up and put them in my chest, you see. Jolly good, you see. I love that scrap shooter. There we go. I guess what I can do then is if the the fight gets too dangerous, I'll just switch over to him and he should be able to deal with them. And oh, looks like we got some. 
some Traptanium here. As so let me go and switch over to, to Jawbreaker, and uh, he should be able to, to break open the uh, the Traptanium and uh, allow me to get the uh, the gold chest uh, that was on the other side. Uh, so let me just go and uh, get my Fists of Fury. Look at him go. Look at him go. This guy is so tough. <laughs> that was very easy. And then I can go and switch back to my jetpack. And uh, oh, too many Skylanders. Sorry, I was a little bit too quick switching them over, I guess. Uh, so yeah, he should be able to open up the gold chest. You don't really see many gold chests. I bet there's going to be some really good things in here, aren't there? Let's go and... Match, 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 There we go. So Jetpack uh, still hasn't got too many levels, but he has got lots of riches. So uh, that means I should be able to, to upgrade him nicely uh, once uh, I find the uh, the fairy. And uh, yeah, I can speak to her and get myself some magic upgrades. Oh! Speaking of the fairy and magical upgrade, she's right here. <laughs> I had no idea she was going to be this close. Absolutely perfect timing. I did need some upgrades because, look, he is getting her big time. Uh, so let's go and speak to her. Ready for another magical upgrade? Ready for another magical upgrade? Yes, I am. <laughs> the amount of times I've heard her say, ready for another magical upgrade, is, is imprinted in my brain. I go to bed at night and all I can hear is that fairy in my head going, Ready for another magical upgrade? <laughs> anyway, what can I do? Press triangle to fly and perform new attacks in the air. Ooh, this sounds pretty powerful. This should uh, uh, make me a, a little bit stronger. So let's go and do that. And the big question, though, is am I... Ready for another magical upgrade? Yes, I am ready for another magical upgrade. As soon as I have so much money. So I thought I was going to be able to dual wield. Ah, here we go. That's what I want. It is way too expensive, though. I can't afford it. I guess I'm going to have to save up all of my pennies until I can get it. So suction gun do more damage. Uh, that does more damage. Bigger spinning blades fan on the suction gun to increase damage to enemies. All things just to increase the damage, really. So I guess there's uh, no reason uh, not to just get them all, uh, which should make me uh, just in general uh, much more stronger when Ready fighting uh, all of the, the googlies. Upgrade. This was an absolutely perfect time to run into the fairy, to be honest, uh, because I was struggling a little bit as jetpack. And uh, what I'm also going to do... As, uh, after I've upgraded Jetpack, I'm going to switch over to Ready Treadhead. Uh, because in the last episode, I had good fun playing as him. Uh, but I never uh, got a, a good chance to, to upgrade him. Uh, so I do want to try and give him some new moves. And I might sort of switch out between the two. Right, let's choose my path. Uh, further develop your suction and uh, flight attacks. Or further develop your Vac Blaster. I think... Uh, oh, this one looks like I could fire out Chompies. And this one... I think I'm going to go for this one. I think this is generally uh, just the, uh, the cooler move. So let's go and... Uh, pick this path and uh, so I can get better at my suction attacks but yeah as I said I'm now going to go and uh, very quickly uh, switch over to, to Treadhead and I'm going to go and uh, give him a, a few upgrades as well uh, just because I got so much money uh, as him in the last episode and I uh, never really had a, a good chance to, to spend any of it so uh, let's go and do this one which gives me a new move uh, does a spin out attack uh, so I can go and try that out uh, it kind of looks like I'd be spinning really fast in a circle. And then I'm going to very quickly cut ahead in the video uh, until I've upgraded everything else as well. Okay, I've just finished uh, upgrading Treadhead. As you can see, I now have much bigger and spikier treads. And I can do this. Whee! I can spin in a circle and my wheelie is even more powerful and I can do it for longer as well now. So uh, Treadhead's got more powerful. Uh, so if I need to, I can switch over to, to him during the battle. Uh, but for now, let's uh, go and switch back to the, uh, the character of the day, Jetpack. And uh, see what his new moves are like. See if they've uh, made him uh, any better uh, than what he uh, used to be. And uh, Jetpack is actually a character uh, that quite a lot of you suggested to me as well. And oh, oh look at me fly! Whee! Oh, I can't even fly over that little thing there though. But I can uh, do different moves while I'm flying though. So that's pretty handy. Uh, so let's just jump down here. And oh, I'm already getting totally owned. Right, I need to switch. I need to switch. Oh, that was close there. That was close. He was getting really hurt. So let's go and uh, switch over to Scrap Shooter. And uh, let's let him do some damage against these guys. Even he's struggling a little bit to be honest. Right, let's just, let's get out of here. I'm getting <laughs> pretty hurt here. Right, I'm firing all of my, my barrels. Can I jump up here? And oh look, there's the, the lovely bow on chaos there <laughs> and I made my way up to this next area here right I think I'm gonna immediately then uh, go and uh, switch over uh, to Treadhead and uh, use him out because Jetpack was getting totally owned there and almost uh, got uh, immediately taken out. So let's go and uh, try out some of uh, Treadhead's new moves then, seeing as he uh, should be uh, a little bit stronger now. Uh, so first, let's jump up and try and grab these. And if I take out all of the googlies, I will be able to, to get that chest here. I guess I can go and wheelie around like this and whoa! Well, actually, 
it's good being Treadhead because uh, Skylanders uh, of the, the tech element are actually uh, more powerful here as well. So it was a, definitely a good idea to switch over. And oh, I think I need to go back down here and maybe take out a few more of these googlies because that area uh, still hasn't opened up. So let's take out all of these guys first and then let's see if it's going to allow me to uh, to get through that little doorway. Were there any more over here? Oh look, there is some some little sneaky money down here which I nearly missed. So I was able to, to get that at least and I think now I was able uh, to take out all of the, the googly. So let's go and uh, head back up here. <laughs> That's good fun. I don't know, it stayed shut. It looks like this has stayed shut. I don't take out these, can I? These big drills? No, I can't take them out. Okay, uh, well, I won't worry about it for now. Uh, we can leave that there. But, oh, uh, I, there is some Traptanium here. So let's go and uh, switch over to... Let's go back to Jawbreaker. And uh, he can break uh, open this Traptanium. And uh, I can get uh, whatever uh, is going to be uh, on the on the inside. Uh, hopefully, that's going to be uh, another chest full of lots of goodies for me, possibly. Uh, let's go and punch it open. Ooh! No, I think it's a, a soul gem uh, for, for Head Rush. Uh, I do have Head Rush, and uh, she was okay. Head Rush was all right. Probably not one of my favorite Trap Masters, but she did uh, absolutely adequate. <laughs> I guess that's not the best compliment in the world. <laughs> you wouldn't like that someone to come in and you go, Ah, oh, you're looking absolutely adequate today. That's not really <laughs> a good compliment, is it? Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to stay as Treadhead uh, until, I, until I see... Uh, somewhere uh, where I'm going to be able to get up Jetvac's health. And oh, oh, there's mines. There's mines in all of the chests. That was a little bit sneaky and hidden, wasn't it? All right, let's go and uh, take out all of these guys. And I was able to, to level up as well. So that's got uh, all of uh, this guy's head uh, head um, <laughs> health back up. And uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going this way. Right. I don't want to break any more of these crates, though, because I know a lot of them uh, have land mines in. So instead of breaking them, I'm going to be avoiding uh, all of these crates, just in case uh, there's a nasty hidden surprise in one of them. And oh, yep, there are nasty hidden surprises in them. <laughs> let's avoid these crates then, shall we? And uh, let's pull this lever. Right, that's opened up here. So I guess I can sneak around the edge. Are these going to have mines in them? Let's risk it. Let's break them open and see. Yay, it's money. <laughs> I was scared there's going to be more mines, but it's good. Right, let's go and quickly get past these big drill things then, shall we? Uh, break open okay, a few Sky more of Lander, these chests. Uh, and uh, what's going Lander. on here? Sky it's gonna take some getting used to. Anyway, I've activated the crane. Use it to clear a path. Just use the crane to pick up bombs, then drop the bombs onto those barriers. The old pick and drop trick. Right, let's drop the bomb then, shall we? Let's go and uh, first go and break open some of these uh, chests uh, just to get a, a few more money, seeing as I am very greedy. <laughs> and then let's go and use the crane. Uh, so we need to drop the bombs to try and break open these barriers, I think. Uh, I think that's what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's see then. Uh, so where's the crane? Here we go. It's the claw. Right, this looks like this is the bomb here. Uh, can I pick it up? There we go. If I do it now, I can grab it. And then I think I need to use this uh, to break down the barriers. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to have to break all of these open. Uh, then I should be able to, to get through. Do you reckon I'm going to be able to blow up these big drill things? Because uh, getting out them out the way uh, would be uh, would be rather nice. Let's see if it works. I don't think it is. No, that didn't really uh, do very much. So let's not worry about that then. I guess we're going to have to deal with them when it comes to it. Instead, let's just go and uh, do our work uh, breaking open all of these barriers. Uh, that one in the top as well, I don't think I need to break it open, but it looks like uh, there's a big uh, pile of monies behind it, so it's definitely going to be worth breaking open anyway, uh, just so I can go and, uh, yeah, get a, a little bit more money uh, to possibly upgrade Treadhead even further. I was actually uh, able to get almost all of his upgrades already, just because I got so much money in the last episode. I actually think that playing... um. Sky stones uh, is probably the uh, the best way to, to get money for these Skylanders because you get uh, so much money so quickly. Uh, anyway, we've been able to, to break open all of these barriers. I should be able to get through. And what's Kale jabbering on about? <laughs> that whole time then, he was just there in the background just shouting angrily about something and I didn't hear a single word of it because I was speaking over him. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't important though. I'm sure Chaos has never said anything important or of any value whatsoever. <laughs> but anyway, let's uh, keep heading this way, shall we then? And uh, let's go and uh, break open a few of these things. And I actually feel a little bit bad uh, for not playing as Jetvac. But if you couldn't tell, I have uh, kind of become a, a little bit fond of Treadhead. So I think I'm going to at least stay as him uh, until... Um, 
until it, like until it's not effective uh, to be the um, this element anymore, and uh, then I can switch back. And tell you what, in the next episode, I will play as Jetvac as well. Then, uh, just so he has a, a fair chance. <laughs> I'm speaking as if they're real, as if Jetvac is going to be there sulking right now, going, "Oh, why won't Stampy play as me? I thought he was going to play as me this video." <laughs> I'm going to look down at his little model, and he's going to have a little sad face instead. <laughs> Treadhead's just so good. Just how cool is that wheelie? And I got my spin move as well. I've hardly used my new spin move. I actually went down the, the route of being better at doing wheelies though, you know, and it lets you pick a path of whether you want to be better at doing one move or the other. Uh, I did say to be better at doing the, the wheelie, so I guess uh, that is going to be a, a little bit stronger uh, than doing this spin move, but it looks like we have finally made our way to where uh, Dr. Crankcase is going to be. I reckon he is inside that uh, house on the hill. Uh, sadly though, uh, we have just about run out of time in this episode here, so hopefully uh, you enjoyed this episode and uh, you're enjoying this series so far. We should hopefully have plenty more to go as well, and uh, to see the next episode, all you need to do is click the link in the top of the description and you'll go straight there. And if the link's not there yet, don't worry, it should be there very soon. Uh, so for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!